wonder if Valk is among them. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. Randvi, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. In this room, in this settlement, in this life. I cannot help you with your life just now. But I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride to Grandebridge or somewhere nearby for a change of pace. That sounds lovely. And too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? Randy, take a break. Let's make for Grandebridge Shire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not? Stretch your legs and fill your lungs. I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. We won't take the long ship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. We'll need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandebridgeshire. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. It really is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pen, and hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. Eivor, there. What is that? This is where the summer army retreated when Grandebridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. Here we are. Welcome to Grandebridge. We should make our way to the longhouse. Ah, oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London, and a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here too. See, it's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah. Good memory. Good to see you again. This is Ranvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Ranvi. Evo seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Vode. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits have encamped nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. I could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. 
Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. The bandits are camped on a river, he said. East of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Ranbi. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from your table for a day, and already you're lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you're teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. There, the bandit camp. All right, stay close and do as I do. Rude and look sternly at the horizon? By all means. So here we go. Champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink to celebrate our victory. At home, Tegla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse, and if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Solve your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside waiting for you. Thank the God she is safe. And thank you, Avo. And your friend Randy, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Over here. Look at this. Oh, someone is thirsty. What are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolf kissed versus table maiden. Ranvi, we can do better than table maiden. Mead queen, then. All right, let us drink. Beautiful. Don't let 
to win! Bradley's done you better. I would drink you under the table. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. <sighs> Randy. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Leaving already? Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy, return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you for everything. No, no, thank you. Safe travels. I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Ranvi, slayer of bandits, breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Suniva described this tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm hey, down. I've had my fill of adventure. Off. Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. You and Soma, was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean, did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskona as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Ranvi. If you must. There! That must be the tower. Take the bridge. <laughs> Just as beautiful as Suniva's stories were. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. <laughs> Keep up! Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. You climb well for one who falls maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. <laughs> My hands are calloused from hard work. Look 
Look at this. <gasps> A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but now I've watched you scale a tower and furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger. Free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together, over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd, to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream and... and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh, no, I am... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is... I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. That is... comforting to hear. I have long felt the same way. But I banished the thought that this would ever happen. Many times I wished to tell you. Wished to say what was in my heart and what I desired. But duty kept me from it. Say all you like. Today has meant so much. We rode, we fought, we drank, we laughed. You showed me your world. Not in words, but deeds. Deeds are more direct than words. Randy? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement. Good day, my love. Randy, you left so suddenly. There is work to be done. There always is. I see. But do not think for a moment that I have forgotten you, and our wonderful day. Nor would I wish you to. Good. Then we see eye to eye. And heart to heart. Yes, indeed. Until our next moment alone, we should return to our great work. England will not pacify itself on our behalf. No, indeed. Back to work, then. I want to see the Alliance map. What about Senefordshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. I should join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenefordshire, Sigurd will be pleased to see you. Come to me.
Should we take this to your chamber? Hmm. No need. Sigurd's not here. I'll ask around. These soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I'm asking a simple question. Look, Dane. You start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. You seem to respect this man, Giedrich. If he was talking to my brother, it's because he wants what's best for this Shire. Maybe you're a woman who also wants Oxenaford Shire to be free, and to decide its own fate. A woman who'll stand up for her village, who won't be crushed under the boot of oppression. I hope I am. Such a woman would help me find Giedrich's friends. You're right, you are. Your brother and his friend jumped through that window there and scampered off towards the river. It's a good bet they hid in one of them fish houses. <laughs> Sigurd and Bassem headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. I need your eyes, my friend. God won't let us lose! Spot to hide. Wait! Stop! Alan was Sahalan, Eivor. We could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolkist. Wise on nerve, brother. It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with merchant soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor. Gods of Bob, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Giedrich has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with a promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods. 
All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount the surprise strike. If Giedrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. Sigurd, has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? I heed Basim's wisdom, but he follows my lead, always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basim is secretive by nature, but he is wise and forthright. And he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible, it will shatter your mind to shards. Brother. Our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the lords of Mercia, then all of England. But Basim has a deep insight. He's read wisdom in the lines of my face, and heard the litany of my forefathers, and... Well, there will be time enough for my side. <laughs> There will be time enough for my saga later. Sigurd, kill this sweaty fishwife. Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex, begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex. And that poxy-ass bastard, Alfred. We won't have it. You're not the Elderman here, Lady Edwin. Turn around and walk away, and we'll leave you be. You heathenish fork-tongued dame. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care. For you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd. Of the hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms. Free my friend here and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. What have they done to you? What kind of mess did you get yourself into? Hey,
was desperate to fight. You should have freed me. Giedrich, this is Eivor, my stone-armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Eivor. Not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Giedrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk Where is with... she? Thane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands. But he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leech Vila garrison. Batim! Eivor! To horse! Off again, Eivor. You and I, with blades drawn and hearts ablaze. Who is this Fulke that Basim spoke of? An ally, Eivor. A most important ally. A holy woman who trades in prophecies and secret knowledge. That is not the sort of alliance we're looking for, Sigurd. No, it's even better. You cannot imagine what discoveries await. You're speaking strangely, brother. Because I'm alive, Eivor. My heart's alight with the fuel of battle fire. Like old times, eh? Yes, Sigurd. Like old times. Remember our hunt beyond the northern way? Our first big kill was a ten-point deer. We brought it down together. The arrows from our bows like darts of ice. With sharpened shin bones for skinning the beast. You on the right, me on the left. We leapt and struck. We crashed to the ground like a felled tree. Then the bloody struggle. Damn animal bit my hand. Never knew a buck could bite so hard. But I pierced its throat, spilling its life wine into the drifts. That put an end to him. Such tales you siblings tell. It's just one of a thousand, Basim. It was the glorious dawn of our lives. You haven't yet explained who this Fulke woman is. When the time is right, I will. She is the fulcrum of a larger plan. Above conquering England? What larger plan could we need? Patience, Ava. Patience. Fine. There's the trial. We will attack on sight here. Execute the prisoners. Cage open, would you? Stay close. I'll help the others. Ah! 
believe that it'd send me to find you. Let's go now. Fight for Dietrich! Talk safely over there. We fought with our Weasley Elderman for years. Now his widow wants to lop off our heads. Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He's safe in Buckingham. Good, Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman Fulke? If you want my backing, brother, you'll explain yourself. How is a mad woman central to your plans? When we find her, I will tell you all you wish to know. Until then, nothing. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the Church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd. Do we not owe Giedrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead, but we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Linforta, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. We Thanes will raise a feared and join with you to take down Edwin, whatever it takes. Bring this news to Giedrich. Tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed. She's well supplied, that's for certain. Well done capturing these, lad. Oil jars, spring old arrows, fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Giedrich. Eivor, do the Thanes live? Every single one. They've set out to raise a fear of fighting men. They all stand with you, Giedrich. We'll need every pike and poker we have to take down Edwin. And you, and your brother, are you still with me? I like your bluntness, Giedrich. My axe is yours. My brother's too. Edwin's plopped her haunches down in her castle now. She has men and supplies coming. Curse her eyes. Where is your brother and the odd fellow? They continue their search for the woman Fulke. He seems to think she will help us chase Edwin to an early grave. But I do not understand how. You do what you must, Eivor. I'll ready what men I've got for the coming fight. I'll move towards Kinnabella Castle and bring up the feared for an assault. Edwin's fortress is strong and sure. Is there anything I can do to weaken her grip on the Shire? Or make her anxious? Ah, there's a notion. You could ship away at her flag bearers if you see them, and defend my feared if any are in strife. We stole some of her supplies here. If you find any other stores like this, destroy them. That I can do. When you're ready for war, you'll find me at a camp near Kinnabella Castle.
he's in our care. Or do we dance around the idea? From what I've learned about Fulke, she's not... And here's Eivor. Ah, you've timed things well. The Holy Woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned at St. Albanes Monastery. Just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who this woman was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me. Your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Edwin into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. You can steal all the silver and gold you want. But if there are no more farmers in the field to hire... It's useless metal. Men from all across Mercia will heed the call to fight a woman pledged to Wessex. Eivor, there was a time when you would follow me without question. Because we trusted one another. Because you knew I would never lead you into folly. Never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did? As your brother? Your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray your... Your trust in me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Giedrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. Saint Albanes will not disappoint. It is famous for its treasures. We'll see about that. to this sanctuary. This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you! We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic! Ah, the self-begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometans, but by true Christians. Friar. Our hands are bloody with the core of your guardians. Is your god so starved of martyrs that you wish to die as well? You make a fine point. Let me pray on this. The Lord bids me to welcome all strangers. Here, friend, take the key and depart with your strange friend. Treasury of Light for this chance of deliverance. Are you sent by the angels of Sacklus, or the self-begotten one above? That I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm, a humble seeker of the self-begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of artifacts? The instruments of the children of Sacklus the Fool. Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object? A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, you're a curious one. A cowl and robes hiding tawny skin. And that devilish blade. Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Come. How long were you imprisoned? Some weeks, perhaps a month. For your so-called heresies? Heresies, yes. I have been blessed to discover many profane objects in my lifetime. Objects which attest to the works of the Demiurge, the false god worshipped by these robed imbeciles. Across Germania and Francia, 
I found these relics and carvings. And here in England, too. Lady Edwin claims they are blasphemous, but her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. May we see these objects? If you wish to know the truth of our origins, I will show you today. I would indeed. Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Fulke is a curator of objects of great worth, one of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory, about defeating Edwin. To know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory. It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods? Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. Will you buy and trade this stone for an alliance? Or more fighting men? Is it useful for anything other than flattering yourself? Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The language is unknown and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all? Praise thee, O oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering gods let me hear, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eivor. They spoke through me. Brother, you have my head spinning. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. The Saga Stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? The sooner we see this slab of rock, the better. Let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Eivor. You may find it more interesting than you expect. On Christus Namen! Was there? What is it about this stone that captivates you, Fulke? The Saga Stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods, as do all the artifacts I collect for my church. You prayed to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the Church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loves you? For preaching such an idea? Yes. Christians like her, like, like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on earth was to wash us free of sin. The Roman church has been deluded by the lies of Saclus, or Yaldabaoth, the demiurge of many names, a lesser god. Saclus and his kind were wise in the time, but they lost sight of the true god, the self-begotten one, lord of the treasury of light. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy is, in fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fuge. And I have not yet reached its end. Be on your guard. Someone is watching us. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy we're here. Edwin's eyes and ears, no doubt. England's Roman past. My acolyte found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. 
The bishops of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret wisdom we possess. Brother Paul! Are you here? Ransacked from floor to roof. Bassam, stand guard outside. This was Edwin's doing. I have no doubt. The stone is within? I asked Paul to make it well. I do not know where. This moves. It must be there. Is this him? Your acolyte, Paul? My dearest. May you live as one with the true God, in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You! Always questioning, second-guessing my wishes! You slowed us down, and I missed my chance! Patience, brother. We will find this stone, wherever it is. Right or wrong, you will have your answer. I know the answer already, Eivor. I've seen it in my dreams. I know exactly. Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor and first we talk. Lady Edwin! A stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade. That stone for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Giedrich our word. For that stone, we will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this, you must bring me Giedrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. We do not... Avon! Ah! No! Cut them down! Ah! Leave them alive! Avon, are you mad? Avon, please. We had our chance. We will speak of this evil. We will not forget.
Eivor, you mock-minded fool! That was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood. I will not betray Giedrich. That is not for you to decide. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl, your brother and master. That's one view, Bessem. I believe there will be other chances. We can keep our oaths and find the stone together. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Gidrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Gidrich. It was your plan all along? Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. Sit here and bemoan your fate, brother. I have a promise to keep, and I mean to. You think too much of yourself, Eivor. You do not have the wisdom of Odin. Come, Basim. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? All my life we moved as one. As family. As kin. I have always known his mind, and he mine. Until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You fought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? I will. Giedrich asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda. South of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd. Brother. You are lost in a sea storm of your own making. Edwin's defenses have been weakened. But I could do more before joining Fulke. Dear man, would you live under Edwin's Fulke? That is where you will be if these supplies reach her. It's for the good of your Shire. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new author. How about a story? I'll spin you a tale in exchange for your wares. That's an odd bargain, Dane, but I'll bite. Sing me one of your sagas. The wild winds wandered. The seas spit salt. The night fell into slumber. Wise Odin rose and bade farewell. He pulled on boots of leather. Bit of a slow start. Pick it up! Long before, before the beginning, before you and I and the others, wise Odin looked with his one wan eye, stared and blinked and thundered. Uh, this Odin fella, he's one of your gods, isn't it? The moon burns red, the sea foams gold, wise Odin utters the words. Right, this is not what I wanted. Stop it, will ya? The snake coils. Look, he yowls. Poison drips from the mouth. Enough, enough! Is this some sort of Nordic curse? Run, go! How does it end? They all die. We can use these oil jars to surprise the soldiers. I see visions of burning men, the screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? 
You'll hear me howl as the men approach. This place is heavily guarded. What was that? the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods? Or could he be a god himself? I don't know. I want to deny it, but I... I... I've seen things in my life. Visions. Prophecies. It's difficult to explain. Heed your visions. Always. You may have been touched by true knowledge. Sigurd is only a man. The son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god. In ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, full king. It's time I regroup with Giedrich to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Avon. I will stay here to pray for the souls of the dead before I join. See that our fletchers have arrows enough for everyone. Twenty to Giedrich. Avon, have you dealt Edwin a few bruising blows? I have. She'll feel the pain soon enough. 
Excellent. My men are itching to attack the fortress, but we'd be fools to force it now. Why is that? On account of Edwin's got too many traps and defenses. Her springles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest. Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defenses. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one. Pragmatic murdering horse. Bells and beacon fires are well involved. Look, the lads! Your There's Eivor! We're with you, Eivor! Those castle walls won't be thick enough to stop us! Long live Giedrich! This should be enough to launch the other. I say we wait. There's too much riding on this. I am Sigurd Jarl, Lord of East Mercia, and I say we fight! Now! Is it done? It is. And have you laid your poles of Hazel and composed your poems for this coming victory? I'm here to speak with Gietrich. Go on, then. Your master of aids. Still dreaming of your precious stone? It is not dreams that led me here, Eivor. I've had visions. Prophecies from the gods. Visions? I'll sacrifice to Tyr this day, the lord of justice, the harbinger of flawless victory. Sigurd, what prophecies? Are we ready to assault the castle, Eivor? The sign's importance read well. We are ready. Give the command. Good. And let's be quick about it. My scouts tell me a force of King Alfred's men is on the march. Let's end this before that flap-mouthed pudding has a chance to hit back.
You felled the lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to her shire and her people, I know which of us God favors. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate. You fought with honor and purpose. For that, I put you in Gidrich's care. You will see you're treated well. I will, so long as you recant your friendship with that pot of warm piss, King Alfred. Agreed. Take her away. I fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you'll do the same. An oath. Between our people. Aye, ah, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred will be on his way, and he won't be alone. of the Ancient Ones, the Isu, the gods of begat of gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I... One who stands at a threshold should take great care to look around, for who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond. 
I have passed through this doorway once before. With Sigurd. In a dream. Not once. A thousand times. A thousand. What does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are... ...fogged. Shadowed. And yet I... ...I feel their meaning. And the ash tree... ...I see the grey tree of life... ...her boughs reaching... ...skyward. Opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basim. All you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seder, do not listen. No, this is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come! King Alfred of Wessex! Marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers! Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak, and the King of Wessex will listen. As I understand, King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects, then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. Not for your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer an exchange. Please, no secrets here. Pleasant is here, my lord. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia, and we fall back north of River Ouse. These terms are fair. Wolfrich! My war thane. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurd I offer myself. Thank you, Basim. King Alfred. Wait. Mm. Paladin Fulke. Are you with this company? I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Sigurd is the only man you need. He's worth more than 20 other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake! And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I've got you, pro woman! Shush! I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith that the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must, but treat him with care.
good day, my love. Ranvi, our work is done in Axenaford Shire, but the cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived, from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch! It is there on the table. Full case with the Order of the Ancients. The same order Chathve followed. The order that Bessam and Hytham have pledged to destroy. Aiden, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage. Captured by King Alfred and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Giedrich. Giedrich is an honest man and will come when I call. Until that time, Bassem will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. <laughs> 